All right, here we are on Neo Planet S, the frozen wasteland. And in the bottom left spawn position, we've got a player that is very well familiar, very well, no, very well familiar with ice and icy conditions because he is from Denmark. In the bottom left, playing as blue, playing as the Terran player from Copenhagen Wolves, it's Bunny. In the top right position, I want to say someone who's a bit less familiar with icy conditions. I'm actually not sure on North Korea, on uh, no, North Korea, <laughs> on South Korea's climate, but I, I think it's, I, I don't think it snows very often there. Anyway, we'll discuss that in a second. Playing in red, playing for Acer, it's MMA. I think South Korea is more warm. I think it might get snow in like the northern part of South Korea, but I think for the most part, it's, you know, it's not too cold there. I could be completely wrong on that though. The chat's gonna go crazy in a few minutes, but <laughs> you know what my favorite thing about casting with you, Lirlian, is? Well, for those of you, for those viewers that don't know what our setup is, you know, I'm on Skype with them, and I can see, you know, we have our producer. He's got, we got Skype video call on, and you can just see this guy. Like, he genuinely enjoys the game. He's constantly smiling while casting. Like, the, the guy, there's no fake enthusiasm on his end. He's just always got this goofy little grin on, and <laughs> it's entertaining to watch. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should uh, change the layout uh, a little bit of the stream and actually have a little window where you can just see my face, you know, not my <laughs> not my neck, not my hands, not my chair, just my face. And you can see me grin and when I get excited, I'm sure I make the most weird faces ever. Uh, yeah, there were just... a few pictures taken of me during a live event and I was like, what? Do I make a face like that when I'm talking? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Yeah, we'll just put your uh, portrait over the unit portrait. We'll just put a picture of you there, and uh, I think I'll yeah, we'll do that. And every time our observer selects, let's say, an SEV or a marine, I'll make an SEV face or a marine face, or I'll make a siege tank face. You know, like a siege tank face, like Arnold Schwarzenegger when a Thor gets selected. I'll be, oh, that'd be so much fun. That would be fun. But we do see Reaper openers from both players talking a little bit about this game. I, I know we want to talk about Lirling. We'll get back to you later. You're, you're cute like that. We do see a second barracks coming from MMA, though. This is uh, just going to be a little bit of aggressive Reaper opener here. Um, no second barracks, no tech just yet from Bunny. Probably just going to go for an expand really quickly. He's getting up to that 400 minerals. Yeah, he will be expanding uh, behind this with the reactor. As you can see, he might pull his workers out of gas. Is he going to pull his workers out of gas? No, but he's not going to pull his workers out of gas, so he um, is going to follow that up with a really quick factory behind his command center, but has to delay his command center for, I don't know, three to five extra seconds. Doesn't really make the hugest difference as we see the first Reaper for Bunny hop into the main base of MMA, and the same thing happening on the other side of the map. But Bunny will actually get an SCV kill here. The, the important thing to note is that Bunny hasn't seen a command center or a bear set. He has no clue what MMA is doing right now. So mm -hmm. uh, nice deny of MMA uh, slowing down that factory. He gets a scout of the Reaper uh, or a, fact, a reactor on that barracks. Did MMA see the command center? No, he doesn't see the command center. But based off the timing of the buildings, he can make a judge. But Bunny is really in the dark right now. He did see a command Bunny center. Bunny is in so there. much trouble. He lost, he lost five SEVs to that initial Reaper. What the? Oh, wow. He, uh, before, because he went for that reactor, he didn't have any Marines to deal with those Reapers, and he didn't have a Reaper of his own, and now there's two Reapers of MMA, killing even more workers, or at least attempting to. Now six workers killed, and finally Bunny has a second Reaper out, but the HP on his first Reaper is too low to be able to engage with the two Reapers of MMA right now. Will Bunny be able to catch up in Reaper count in time? He lost a lot of SEVs. He cannot even afford double Reaper production right now. This might just be GG. We have four Reapers coming in the main base. Only two here for Bunny and a th only a third one on the way. Uh, there is the one Hellion on the way, but Reapers beat the Hellion in a one-on-one -on -one fight. And this is just, like you said, so bad. Nice angle for that Hellion to come in here, getting two great splashes off. And wow, that Hellion did way more damage than it should have done. Perfect alignment for Bunny on those shots, hitting all four Reapers, able to clean that up beautifully. Yeah, he has cleaned it up, but he's down by 10 workers right now. And MMA has not been sitting still behind this. He's expanding and so is Bunny, but his expansion is going to be a little bit earlier. So he does have the power of the mule on his side, which is a really good power to have. But is it going to make up for a 10 SEV discrepancy in the early game? It's going to be tough for Bunny. Yeah, it's that's a, a, a lot of SEVs to be behind. Now, uh, Bunny does have that tech advantage right now. His starport's just about to finish whereas MMA's factory is about to finish, so that's where Bunny has the edge. 
He's also, uh, uh, but MMA is going up to his third barracks. He has Stim already started. The follow-up attack from MMA might just be too much. We do see him getting that engineering bay. He knows that there is some form of drop play on the way. He already scouted the factory to just being as defensive as possible. Um, you know, he, he knows. I mean, he, he knows he's in a great position right now. Why not be safe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the SCV uh, advantage for MMA is still around 10, has decreased a tiny, tiny bit as Bunny had his expansion um, alive earlier, so he was able to produce a few extra SCVs, but still a really good economic position for MMA. He's really got the superior economy. Bunny's got the uh, superior army supply right now. He's got about double the army supply of his opponent, so he really has to make this one medevac with six marines and one widow mine count. Yeah, it has to. It, you're right. It has to do so much damage. Income tab 35 to 25. There are already turrets going down in position at this natural base, so this drop is going to do minimal amount of damage. Even if he burrows the little mine, the turret will give it vision. Uh, the medevac can't stay here. It's going to have to boost into the main base where there are marines waiting to intercept. Uh, here we go. Bunny is coming forward. He sees the turret and just backs off. He knows he can't do anything here. No, he he. He will not be able to, unfortunately. He really needed to do something, so he is going to look for different avenues into MMA's base to uh, inflict some form of damage on his opponent. He might be able to kill a Marine here, but that was definitely not the amount of damage he was looking for. He's going to lose the mana back, lose the drop. The Widow Mine gets focused down by MMA, and Bunny, what a desperate move. They're trying to make that work, but the Widow Mine, it didn't burrow in time. MMA folks firing that down like a champion. Uh, two medevacs out here, we're going to see a drop from the MMA, he has plus one weapons about to finish, so this drop will have stim, have plus one and two medevacs with it, that's oh my God. going to be so powerful from MMA, if we look at what Bunny has back home, no medevacs, he's got a few marines, one widow mine that's moving across the map right now, I actually don't know where that widow mine's going, but it's going to intercept these medevacs. <laughs> That's not something you see every day, a Widow Mine intercepting uh, a Medivac drop and scouting it now. So Bunny does know it's coming, but can he even stop this even though he he knows it's coming? The Siege Tank does Siege up, but doesn't do enough damage. Tim is done. Medivacs are, of course, healing away. There's Reapers in here tanking some damage, but it looks like the Marine count is just far too superior for Bunny. He might be able to clean this drop up with the help of a few SCVs. It's going to be close. The, there are only three Marines out right now. It will get cleaned up with reinforcements, but more Harvesters were killed. 24 SCVs have been killed this wow. game, putting the SCV count 49 to 26 in favor of MMA. I mean, this just counterattack just did a little too much damage with that plus one in Stim. Still, Stim has not even been started. Just now adding on additional tech labs onto his buildings. I mean, this is so, so rough for, for Bunny. I don't know what he has to do to make a comeback here. Oh, no, it's so sad. You know, the opener that Bunny went for just got hard countered by what MMA was doing. Going for the reactor on your barracks is really cool because you can either get out uh, faster Hellions, faster Hellbats, uh, faster Marines, or a double uh, Reaper production. But if you get hit by a Reaper attack that early, the time that you spend making a reactor, your barracks sitting still, doing nothing. He had nothing at home to defend against that first Reaper because he sent his first Reaper out across the map and then made the reactor. So he had to wait like... I don't know, a full minute before he was able to have a response against that initial Reaper out of MMA. That's really where this game went wrong. Yeah, it's really unfortunate to see Bunny take such a huge loss so early in the game, but he's still he's still fighting back. He still has a chance. Third base is about to be taken from MMA. There are one, There's one Widow Mine out on the map right now onto the left side. It's just going to you know cut off a little bit of reinforcements, maybe hit a meta back that's going for a drop. We'll have to see uh, if, if MMA eventually scouts that. One Marine was killed by that earlier, but look at the barracks count. Currently at five barracks for MMA, just constantly producing. He's got that third base. Vikings flying around. We do see a drop going into the main base as well. Where are Bunny Jimsy sending a few Marines into the main, or running a few Marines in the main base? But Stim's nowhere near finished. No, his stim is not done, and therefore more damage is going to be done. The supply depot is burning, and SEV was killed, building the additional command center. More workers were killed. We're now up to 27 worker kills for MMA. He's taking a third base. He could go in again with his dropship to inflict even more damage, but he doesn't really have to. He's done so much damage. The only thing he has to do right now is sit back, get his upgrades, uh, sit on his three bases, get a few more SEVs, start his double upgrades. And he's going to be so immensely far ahead. It's going to require a, a miracle play out of Bunny to make up for it being this far down in economy for such an extended period of time. 
He's starting to close the gap on the SCV count. He's only down 44 to 58 now. And with how many have been killed, I mean, that's a lot closer than it should be. But you're mm -hmm. right. I mean, no third base. He's still down on SCVs, and that's still considerable. He doesn't have stim. And still no stim pack. Upgrades are currently 1-1 one, one versus 1-1 uh, one, one on both sides. Here we go. Big stim coming forward. C-Chicks from MMA seizing up. Bunker is going to go down. Medivac's going to hold the sky for the moment. Two Vikings going to reinforce that just to make sure that he can maintain this sky or this, you know, air superiority. And this is, you know, another death grip from MMA. A lot of Marines just kind of trolling in. We do see that there is that one <laughs> little mine that did hurt some of those Marines, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep Emmett or Bunny in this game. He's, he's, he's being starved again. Yeah, he's being starved again. Uh, MMA just has the superior income. The income tab is reflecting that. More Marines can be reinforcing for MMA. That one Widow Mine is still buried there, and if MMA sends out any more units that path, they will get damaged and they might oh. get killed. That Medivac oh, looked like he was going to run straight into that Widow Mine you are just talking about, but... Uh, the reinforcement path from the top right to the bottom left, they do swing to the bottom side uh, from the direction he's reinforcing to, so... That's, you know, that's a good thing for MMA for the moment. He's got a drop positioned as well. There's no turrets here. There are a few Marines. So if we see just like a, a push into the natural base, forcing units at the front, we, he can sneak this drop in. But it's going to be tough. Well, three Vikings here, four Bunny. He's going to use those to try and push back uh, MMA. It's still, it's still going to be a tough break, though. Bunny just now starting his 2-2, whereas MMA's 2-2 is just about to finish. And he's got his plus two vehicle weapons again. Yeah, those those mech upgrades that MMA is researching every game definitely giving him an edge. Bunny, he doesn't even have money for an armory at this point. Well, actually, he has an armory. He hasn't started his plus one attack yet. He wants to make sure that he breaks this container and has enough units first. He gets some good shots on the siege tanks there, and Bunny is going to go for broke. He's pushing in, snipes the siege tanks, and retreats. Nicely done there. That was actually better than I expected for Bunny. The siege tank count for MMA now very low at the front. I think he's been on one factory for a long time, but currently... Yeah. He's got more. He's got two now. That was an impressive break. We do see that MMA does do a drop in the natural base. It's going to be cleaned up here. MMA break in the front at the same time, though. GG, well played.